If you're not a fan of dual monitors but you want to work on two systems, then I have the monitor just for you. This is the MSI Modern MD272 by MSI and I'm here to show you what a great choice it is for those looking for just a single monitor but for two systems. First off, this is a 27 inch IPS monitor with a KVM switch built in so you can plug in your mouse and keyboard into the one monitor and use it on two different systems. But before I get into it, let's talk about how it looks. It comes in black or white and I have the white version. It lives up to its name. It's really sleek and modern, perfect for the office space. It has a flat IPS display that goes up to 75 Hz, which is just smooth enough for scrolling through stuff faster. It's also a very flexible monitor. The base lets you swivel into a very wide direction in front, of course, with tilting and pivoting capabilities, so you can adjust it into any orientation from horizontal to vertical. If you want to go vertical, be sure to tilt your monitor outwards to get the angle right because it's just not tall enough to pivot as is unless you have a monitor stand that's tall enough. Another great point I want to stress is that it's a tool-free installation unless you're mounting it on a VESA and the arm itself, you know, it's quite simple to install as you just need to slot it in and you're done at the back. Simple. Since it's a KVM based monitor, it has a lot of ports located at the bottom. It includes a USB type B for the KVM which you plug into your computer, two type A's to connect your peripherals to the monitor itself, a headphone jack for audio, it has two speakers built in, a DisplayPort 1.2A, an HDMI 2.0B and a type C which supports display output and up to 65 watts of charging. So if you have a laptop that can support both display output and charging via the USB type C, this is a pretty great monitor to do just that and it will support the KVM just as well. The KVM is relatively simple to set up. You just need to connect everything together and install the drivers on both your systems. So the flexibility is pretty good here because you can just put this in your office with your desktop and bring your work laptop over without having to buy two monitors. Some people actually believe that this is the better way because it saves a lot of space and it saves a lot of time because you don't need to plug in your peripherals twice or buy two sets of peripherals. Another important part about owning such a monitor is eye care. Because we look at our monitors every single day and uh, most probably a monitor like this, I see it in lots of offices and most likely their lighting is not very good and it's either too dim or just too bright. So what eye care essentially does is you enable anti-blue mode in productivity intelligence or from the OSD built into the monitor and it will simply just add a tint through your screen which is a bit more on the yellow warm side to reduce and fight against eye strain. It's not a guarantee that it completely removes uh, blue light getting into your eye sockets, but it's more towards just um, being slower, the rate of it being slower, because blue light is emitted in waves and in short distances between your eyes and your monitor. And you can't really stop that because, you know, screens are such an important part of our lives now, especially when we're working. So having an anti-blue mode like this is very useful. So again, you can select it from Productivity Intelligence itself, or you can set it as a profile by triggering a hotkey in the KVM settings. And yeah, I think this is very important. Everybody should try this out every now and then. And well, you won't really feel it immediately, like less eye fatigue, but I think in about a month or two of consistent staring into the monitor in anti-blue, I'm pretty sure you will feel that you're less exhausted in terms of your eyes and you're probably going to take less naps in the office. So let's get on to setting up the KVM and how to do that. First off, you need to download Productivity Intelligence from the MSI website and look for the model number of the monitor. Install it on a laptop that supports USB Type-C display output like this Summit E14 that I have and install the same app on your working desktop as well. Now that that's done, connect all remaining cables including your HDMI or display port into your second system as well as your mouse and keyboard to the monitors. The USB ports and yes, it'll support wireless dongles as well. 
I also had the same question, don't worry about that. Next, you'll have to launch the Productivity Intelligence app on both the systems and select KVM to be on auto mode and you're done, pretty much. All you have to do is just set the hotkey in the settings in Productivity Intelligence to change your input source to any shortcut that you set and everything's just about done. So now you set a hotkey combo on one keyboard and when you press that, it will change the input source. You no longer even have to touch your OSD, which is the on-screen display menu when you press the monitor's numerous buttons. So all that's left of the OSD essentially is to change your contrast, your brightness, your power settings, sleep settings, and you can still have some control of KVM, but obviously I would say it's better to use the app directly from your computer because it's just seamless. Overall, I think this is a pretty good monitor. It used to retail for 12.99 ringgit, and now it's got a really good price slash for triple nine. So this makes it a very good 75 Hertz, 27 inch IPS monitor for under 1000 ringgit. And it charges your laptop up to 65 watts. So that's quite a win-win for everybody. And you know, it's not essentially a gaming monitor. 75 Hertz is a lot smoother than 60 Hertz. And I find that refresh rate to be more catered towards just doing everything faster from scrolling to navigation. And as an IPS display, this isn't the best I've seen. I actually think it's just slightly above average. The colors aren't as deep. Maybe I'm just too used to AMOLEDs. But if you want to do things like graphic design or multimedia work, you pretty much can. But when it comes to color calibration or color correction, I would not find this completely reliable even though it has very high scores in the sRGB rating. But yeah, 27 inch like this, it rotates, it swivels, it tilts, it can be as flexible as you. And with KVM, it is the most ultimate solution for flexibility. This is the perfect way to have two systems in one monitor without additional costs. Because if you have two monitors, and even though you've got two systems, you have to plug everything back in, and you need to buy two sets of peripherals, which I think is rather silly. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the MSI Modern MD272 Monitor.